my boy. That's my boy. All right, here we go. So as you guys know, or may or may not know, I am a huge fan of Shoto Unimo and Ren Narita. I've been following them since their Young Line days in New Japan. They've been there for a while, like, I think they've been Young Line since 2017. I started watching New Japan, like, all the time in 2018. I've been following these guys and hooked ever since. If you don't believe me, go watch some of my early reviews. I even have a video on this channel. 10 minutes of me praising Shoto Unimo across a bunch of videos I've done, if you don't believe me. I'm a huge mark for these guys. I want to see these guys succeed. I want to see them become the IWG Heavyweight Champion, Junior Heavyweight Champion, whatever follows with them. And whatever their future entails, I will be there for them because I gladly support them and want to see them succeed. They are currently on excursion. They're no longer, well, they are still in New Japan, technically, but they're working in different parts of the world in different companies. Uh, Ren Narita is working in the States, working locally in your local independent promotions. He's wrestling at uh, the LA Dojo for New Japan, which is mentored and coached by Katsuri Shibata. And um, Shota Unimo is currently in the UK. I don't remember what the dojo he's working in is called right now, but he's working for Pro and maybe some other um, UK indie companies over there. So they're both doing their own thing. Shota Unimo just had his RevPro debut against Kyle Fletcher about a few days ago. And Renarita just had his independent wrestling. And I do that big side because I'm a little worried. <laughs> See, because Renarita has a lot of potential in New Japan's junior division. And I don't want to knock anybody any wrestler in the american independent circuit but we tend to see a lot of really 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 spotty wrestling in the indie circuit here in the states my fear is that and renarita is going to start wrestling really really spotty matches which he normally doesn't do renarita doesn't high fly he's a the lankier guy He's a strong striker. He does the most beautiful bridging suplexes you ever see, but he's not a high flyer. I don't remember ever seeing Renarita do springboards or anything like that. And that's my fear is that he's gonna he's gonna watch too much PWG and all that shit. And the Renarita I come and know a love is gonna be succumb to what the American Indies have become in 2020. Black Label Pro, I've only seen one of their shows before. They put on a really good show, the one I've seen, which was kind of coincided with GCW, their Two Cup Stuff show earlier this year in Chicago. I have hopes that this is going to be a really good match. This is Renarita's debut against Isaiah Velasquez, I believe his name is. I have, don't know much about Isaiah, but Renarita I know a lot about. Now, I'm hoping in this match we're going to see not a lot of spots. I'm not expecting it to be a New Japan strong style match because, like I said, we are in the States. I'm very interested to see what kind of style Renarita wrestles when he's not in New Japan. He's bottom on the barrel here in the States. He's he's the young lion. He's not he wasn't a former IWGP champion. He was he was he was a young boy. So are they going to like see him on their level or is he beneath them? And he's gonna to have to work their style and you know work with them and not them work with him. So I'm very interested to see how they're going to do in Arita. I don't know, man. I'm a little worried, but without further ado, we're going to watch experiences together. This is my first time seeing this. This is Ren Arita's U.S. independent debut. I ain't going to lie, guys. I kind of skipped ahead so I could get straight to this show. I, I have a subscription, so I might end up watching this show. This is not Ren Arita. If this is Ren Arita, I'm going to fall this damn chair. This is got to be Isaiah. I want to know what Ren Arita's theme song will be, though. And, like, how is he dressed? Is he still dressed like a young lion? Because Sotonumo has, like, gear. I don't know if Ren Arita is or not. If Ren Arita comes out that damn curtain, I'm leaving. I swear to God. Okay, thank God. <laughs> I was scared. I'm like, bro, if Ren Arita comes out to some fucking rap music, I'm leaving. I'm not why I'm leaving, man. Walking out of my damn house and I'm going for a walk because I don't think I could take it. And it's not that I don't like rap music because I do like some rap music, but <laughs> yeah, this seems very uncharacteristic of Renderita. And I understand Renderita's 22 years old. Let, let, let's just let's, let's put it out there, guys. So Renderita and Shoto Unimo, they're both 22 years old. Shoto Unimo is older than me by five days. Five days. He was born on the 17th of April. I was born on the 23rd of April. Renarita, I don't think Renarita's 22 yet. He's 21 because his birthday is in September. No, that means 
That means he's 22. But he, I'm older than Renarita. Put it that way. Okay, so it's kind of young lion-ish. Renarita! Woo! It's my boy. It's my boy. I don't know why I'm clapping, but that's my boy. I'm so hyped. What respect this man has, bowing to this chump, Isaiah Velasquez. Let me not call him a chump, he might have to be a damn good wrestler. I oh, like the camera work of this show, the aesthetic of it is actually pretty decent. I don't watch many independent wrestling shows, so this is definitely uh, one of the more height maintenance looking ones, if that makes sense. You go slow that boy down, Narita, slow him down. Oh, oh. Okay, okay. There we go, Narita. Yeah, yeah, show him what Shibata taught you. Narita gonna hit him with that chop, he ain't gonna know what hit him, he gonna be like, Do I wanna continue this match? <laughs> oh. Oh, all right, all right. Oh, you get a little, you get a little clap for me. Wrestling! Woo! I'm surprised the crowd isn't booing him. You know how these fickle fans are, as soon as they see some wrist holds and lockups and technical wrestling, they start booing people. Cause they don't get her Karanas and shit. There's a bunch of people sitting here like, Is that, is that Shota Udomo? I can't really tell. Is that Shooter? Is that Shooter? Ah, when Narita in America scares me, man. Oh, that was a sly ass hesitation drop kick right there. Yeah, so Isaiah is working heel in this match. At least that's what I'm perceiving. That's what we should be getting. I do not want to see heel or Narita. I even want to know what that looks like. Heel Shota Udomo works. I've seen glimpses of what a heel Shota could look like. Red Narita, though, is, I don't know. I don't know if heel Red Narita will work. Yes! Okay, he didn't bridge, but still some of the best suplexes in all of the world comes from this boy right here. Suplex city. A boss the crab, here we go. Better make him tap, Narita. Make him tap. Oh, oh, oh. He fucking learned it from uh, Harush Tanahashi there with that clover leaf. He did put his own little spin on it. Get it? He put his own little spin on it and he. <clears throat> Alright, well, it's not really spotty, so I respect that. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh no, here we go. It starts now. <laughs> One, two. Okay, great. If Renarita ever loses to a Canadian Destroyer, that'll be the day you see me cry on air. Take down uh, Russian Leg Sweep. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, my God. He's learning from Zack Sabre Jr., too. Look at all this he's picking up on. My boy is so smart. Whoa, missed. Oh, damn it. Drop kick. Not quite Okada drop kick, but a drop kick nonetheless. Here we go. There we go, that's my bridge right there. Oh my god, he won! Oh my god, he won! Holy shit, oh my god, he actually fucking won the match. Guys, listen, Red Narita is a young lion, and unless he's facing another young lion, he is guaranteed to lose. I forgot for a second that he's not in New Japan right now, so he can actually fucking win. I'm so happy for him. Y'all gonna see for that man cry on air, man. <laughs> That's right. And he's respectful. How can you not like Renarita? He went in there. He fucking did his thing. He is going to be in... He's gonna change independent wrestling in 2020, damn it. But yeah, guys, that was Renarita's U.S. independent wrestling debut. So do yourself a favor, if you have not already, go check out Black Label Pro Wrestling. They are the company that made this match happen. I guess I should also promote Independent Wrestling TV, since that's the website you have to go to to watch this match. IndependentWrestling.tv. This show is called Slim Milton. You can go watch that show, watch the match, watch the whole show. I don't really care. Go support Independent Wrestling, because these guys are killing it. But yeah, guys, that was Renda Rita's U.S. debut. What did you guys think? Comment down below. Let me know. We'll be doing the same thing for Shoot Unimo's debut on Rev Pro whenever that video goes up. Love you guys always, and I will talk to you later. Peace out, guys. Go!